Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Imitation Game and this movie came out in 2014 and I've seen this movie once before and I remember liking it and there are parts that stood out to me and that I could remember and re-watching it, I, I still enjoyed it. I don't think I liked it as much as I did the first time, but I still enjoyed it. It's like, it's a well-made movie. Benedict Cumberbatch is great. There are things to learn about our main character, and the story is interesting on its own. And when I say on its own, I mean as in, like, the story that they're exploring and not so much the story in, in the way that it's told. And the way that it was told was fine. I don't really have any issues with that. It's just that there was nothing in this movie that really attached to me very much. And I thought the beginning of the movie was great. And the last 15 or so minutes were pretty good. Uh, everything in the middle was serviceable. And it just becomes a fine movie doesn't uh, surprise you, but it doesn't uh, do anything really bad. Well, in terms of the writing and presentation of it for the most part. And that's about it. The positives uh, for this movie, as I said, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is great and, uh, and it does feel like uh, the 40s. Uh, like this movie is taking place in the 40s, sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit later. And never once uh, feels as though it's taking place in 2014. It, it does feel like a period piece. And I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I really did not like the music in this movie. I thought it sucked and didn't need to be there and it, it just didn't add anything to my experience. And it was very forgettable and that's all I have to say about it. And one of my biggest problems with this movie is that most of the characters are really uninteresting and very surface level and there's nothing really interesting going on with any of them and they just don't have anything fun or interesting going on. There are, they do try to play things a little bit light and to have some moments of comedy but I felt as though that kind of fell flat and there were Definitely a point where I was cringing and it did get pretty cheesy to the point where I just was uh, feeling uncomfortable and wish that they didn't do that. And the only character in this movie that I found interesting was the main character. Not throughout the whole movie, but for the parts of, that I said were great, like the first 20 or so minutes of the movie and la the last 15 minutes because... There are interesting things happening to his character, and there's something at the very least. Whereas everything in between, very little. And the rest of the characters, they... I, I don't care about. I'm struggling to find things to say about it because this movie is just serviceable. It's inoffensive, like I've said. It's fine. It's watchable. You can watch it. I'm personally never going to watch this movie again because I just didn't get anything new out of it this time watching it. And for a one-watch viewing, it's not a bad experience, but it's just there's nothing underneath the, the surface uh, going on in this movie that engaged me. And I guess uh, one good thing uh, that I can say about it is that it's less than two hours long, so... It doesn't, it's not a super long movie. The movie never really wastes a whole lot of time. There are parts that I felt it could have been cut out of the movie and were just really stupid. And uh, there were some characters that were kind of annoying. And that's about all I have to say. It's decent, well made. Benedict Cumberbatch is great. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know what to say. I. I cannot think of anything else to say. I'm sorry. But if the story is interesting to you and you just don't want to kill a, a couple hours, this isn't the worst choice to make. It's just underwhelming for me because I'm never going to watch this movie again. I would recommend that you check it out at least once, but I just don't think it's anything special. And with all that being said, I'm going to give The Imitation Game a 5 out of 10.
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of the imitation game and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Saving Private Ryan. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.